Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you two a week all the way through and into Christmas. We've done loads, we've still got lots to do. And this is today's project. It's a quick project. This is one of those, oh no, I need to make dozens of teacher gifts kind of gifts. This is one of those, oh my goodness, I didn't realise my niece and nephew were going to be coming to visit gifts. One of those kind of things, or maybe just a nice little stocking stuffer. And it's, it, I haven't prepped anything in this video. I'm going to show you how I get to this. And it really is a simple project. And I'm also going to tell you a little funny story regarding the foil chocolate ball. I buy mine off Amazon. I do make sure that they're well in date. They are. And I have a drawer in my office that's got little sweets and treats and stuff that I want to put inside a project. And I very specifically had red and green in here because this paper had red and green and my ribbons are red and green. And I thought, I'm going to use the same paper, Christmas Around the World, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Except when I went to the bag, there were three green ones left. That was it. I've actually had to film another project ahead of time, deconstruct it, take out the foil balls and put them in here because small offspring will know where my chocolates are. So this is going to be the one I'm going to make. It's going to be mixed up colours, so good job we're using this side. Okay, you need one of our little two-inch treat boxes. I love these. These are wonderful value for money, mostly in that you don't have to manhandle acetate yourself, but they are brilliant. Now, I um, probably should have got something dark. Let me just grab this. It's handy. So this is the shape that they come, and they have this little bit of ruffled paper. This is actually the protective layer of stuff, so that your treat boxes don't bash together in the, in you know in your drawers or while they're on the way to you and get scratched. That's what it's there for. So you do need to peel that off first. Bend in this one, which has got a cutout. It's a U shape. Bend that one. Bend the sides. Oh, I feel like I've got a sneeze coming. And it will just hook under. And then bend this one. You might need to get on, on the crease. And that little tab there that's sticking out will tuck in into there. tra -la, job done. Fold in the sides, but don't worry about it yet because we've obviously got to fill it and fill it with the paper. Now, my cube is two inches tall. So I actually want to have a little bit of a a bit peeping so I would suggest that you get your paper and start lining it up and thinking is that a good length is that too much is that too little where do I want to go I want to go I think on this one I think at about the halfway mark although I kind of want more heads in than not so this is too much so I'm going to make this piece about an inch and also, in metric, that's five centimetres, so you're looking at about two and a half centimetres, roughly. And obviously, by the fact that it's two inches, so you've got four sides that are two inches, that makes eight inches plus a bit that you're going to need. So make it eight and a half inches, your length of paper. And again, in metric, um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty centimetres plus a bit, so maybe twenty-one, twenty-two centimetres. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut my paper down to... Oh, it already... <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half inches. Already is. And I want it to be about an inch wide, but I don't want to chop all their heads off, really. So I'm going to have... If I cut it there... So I've got these two heads and that one. And then turn it round so I get an inch. Am I going to decapitate anybody? Oh, maybe I need to make it a little bit bigger so I don't cut anybody's heads off. I know you're all thinking I'm mad, aren't you? So, I'm actually going to make this one an inch and a quarter. Oh, I just cut straight through that one's eyebrows. <laughs> it's not good, is it? Okay, and then score it. Every two inches, five centimetres. So two, four, six, eight, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Just gently... I love our trimmer that we can do this. And then gently fold. Seriously, I've cut off their heads. This was a really good paper in theory. <laughs> I feel quite mean. And that is going to sit inside nicely. I would suggest that this tab, 
you fold it right in on itself. You should get the glue on first. Fold it right in on your on itself. Don't have it sticking outwards like that. Have it make inside so that when you put your your can't speak your paper in the box, you've got room to manipulate it around a bit because obviously you've got to make sure it's going to fit. say that gluey sticky bit is actually now sticking to my finger make sure it's all pushed down well and at the bottom and you can put your final piece in place you can see I've still got maneuverability room to maneuver it into position there we go it's in place and now you can fill with chocolate so literally it's a case of going well I think that's a really good side and I'm fancy putting that amount in let's see if I can I can make this only green, silver, red, and maybe the blue chucked in. Let's wibble them around. Yeah, it could be a bit fuller. Let's put some purples at the bottom. Then nobody would ever know. And now fill it up. There's another silver in there. That's better. Oh! Don't throw them at yourself. Oh, actually, that's now one too many. <laughs> Let's just take those all out of the way. And then bring over your sides, fold it over. And that will click shut. That's the box done. Now it's just a case of decorating it. So I think I'm just going to go red and white on this one because the green, garden green isn't quite the same green as that. It's actually Emerald Envy. Well, it's not really. It's actually it's Cucumber Crush, which we don't have anymore. So, um, I actually want that one. White with a silver edge and some thin red. worry about being perfectly neat with this particularly if it's one of those emergency help I need millions of these for the teacher gifts um, but actually I quite like the rustic-y sort of not neat look not everything in life has to be perfect although there is a fine line between handmade and homemade and that I'm kind of happy with because it's it, it well it's obviously two different ribbons and that's quite nice oh I forgot to tie the ornament on oh. let's just do the stamping right I'll put the ornament on another one so I've got labels to love now I've been recently using um merry little labels um which goes with the everyday label punch and so does this one but I'm not actually going to use the punch. I just want Ho Ho Ho, which is this one down here. And what I'm going to do, I this is a tip I think I've passed on before. But I'm going to have another go. There's my block. So I'm lining, I'm using my grid paper and I'm lining my block up on it. And I'm going to line the Ho 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 on it. And I have done a tip video on why I use a block considerably bigger than the stamp. Grab that. And I've lined it up. I've made sure that is perfectly lined up. My real red ink. And I'm going to line up my piece of cardstock. This is just, well, it's not scrap wisp white because there's quite a lot of it. But I'm lining it up. I'm looking through and lining up the clear block with the grid paper. And the cardstock is lined up. So this should get me. It wibbled and perfectly lined up. It didn't work, did it? Let me just not wibble this time round. There we go. 
So what I can do now is grab back my trimmer and just trim down and make sure that I've got an equal distance either side. Ho, ho, ho. That's quite big, that one. Actually, that's bigger than... I need to trim it down a bit more on the ends. That's going to fit nicely on there. And I'm going to get some glittery shapes this time. And I want these ones. Um, and I want the clear ones on the edges. There we go, I'll take those ones. And I want the green. So although it is old olive, it's okay. I don't mind. Let's find a paper piercer. I just fancy adding a little bit of shimmer and glimmer and pretty to this to there and i'll have a bigger one up there and then dimensionals on the back um this is one of those projects once you've done one and you've decided you like the look of it super fast to do the rest. This one with the mini ornament, these ones without. <laughs> because I'm forgetful like that. But they're really cute, aren't they? So yeah, it's taken me 11, nearly 12 minutes, but I've chatted and I didn't know what I was doing at first. Well, I didn't know what I was doing. I just didn't know where I was going to cut. But I really like it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.